Hello, this is Dr. Krause again. I am working on getting my students up to speed with Jupyter and Python and NumPy and whatnot. Uh, but I'm making these videos publicly available because they may be useful to other people getting associated with Python or especially learning scientific and engineering toolboxes of Python and whatnot. So this is a blank Jupyter notebook. Uh, mainly today I'm talking about the NumPy module and importing. Uh, so one thing to see is that if I, for example, as an engineer, needed to use Pi, um, Jupyter doesn't seem to know anything about Pi. Um, as an engineer, I'm also a huge fan of trigonometry, and Python doesn't seem to know any of those things. Now, there are different ways to get at those things. There is a math module, although, but I want to uh, caution you against that. Um, the main one we want to use is NumPy. The difference between NumPy and math primarily is that NumPy was designed by an engineering professor um, to especially work with vectors and arrays and whatnot. So if we want to take the sine or cosine of a vector or an array, whatever, we definitely want to use NumPy. Now, um, I've got another video on importing. There are, whoops, that's not what I want to do. There are different ways to import stuff in Python, uh, but I want to, uh, I think the best practice that's mostly adapted by a lot of the tutorials you see on the internet is to import NumPy as NP. What that means is I don't have to type NumPy every time. Now, I still can't type Pi, and there is a way around that, but it's just not best practice. So now I type NP.Pi, and suddenly Python knows those things. Additionally, mp.sign, uh, that's not a super helpful thing. It tells me that there's a ufunc. Ufunc means a function that has been adapted to arrays. I don't know what the u is for. And obviously there's an mp.cosign. Uh, be aware that by default, it's gonna work in rate, well, it's only gonna work in radians. Um, some languages have a sine d or a cos d. You could define your own functions that did that. Um, I don't believe, maybe they've changed it by now. Um, NumPy doesn't believe in that. Um, so you got to remember to convert from radians to degrees and vice versa when you're working with the different trigonometric functions. Um, one question that comes up a lot is how do I know all of the functions that are in NumPy? So take advantage of tab completion, meaning you can type part of a command and then hit the tab key Whoops, sorry, I got a little impatient there. And it should show you all of the choices that could complete your thing. Now, there's a lot of stuff in NumPy, so looking through this is not super helpful. You probably would rather just go to like Google or whatever search engine and type NumPy tutorial. There's a lot of those. Also note that if I start to type it, uh, it actually is now um, shortening the list to things that match whatever I've already typed. So now I'm getting down to, these are all the things that match S-I-N, um, and there's maybe 10 of those. And for some reason, I've got duplicate, everything is duplicated in mine, and I don't fully understand that. Um, so yeah, tab completion is your friend. Um, NumPy is hugely important, and part of why that's important, let's talk about one other key thing. What if I had what I thought were arrays or vectors uh, but in fact, we're really just lists. Um, how would I know the difference? We'll talk about that in just a second. But for example, if I have these two things that I think are arrays or vectors, and I want to add them together, lists, when I add them together, just extend. And that's not very helpful if I'm trying to add two x, y, z coordinate vectors together. So what I want instead is an array from NumPy. And now I could take one, two, three and make it my, and again, I'm so I'm taking advantage of tab completion. I've typed part of the name, I've hit tab and it's given me two options. So one, a NumPy array is always gonna have the word array in front of it. And then if I said array two, again, tab completion. And now if I said Array three was a array one plus array two. 
show me the result of array three. Now it has added those two things together as vectors. That's something that we're gonna use a lot even in our very first learning activity. We're gonna have some different vectors that we need to add together. And so they need to be NumPy arrays. Uh, that's very, very important. And when we need trigonometry, we need NumPy. So we're gonna deal with MP and tab completion is your friend. So hopefully that's enough, I think, to get you through our first learning activity. Otherwise, we'll see what comes up in our next class. Thanks. Oh, one other thing. Um, I forgot to mention this in my Jupyter Notebook intro, but it says up here, Untitled. If you wanna give this a different name, you just click on that box and do that, and then it automatically changes that file name in whatever folder the notebook exists. Thanks.